Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the vlog. I am getting myself pulled together a little bit. Um, this morning, I'm actually going to meet a friend for coffee. She is a friend here on YouTube that actually I, I she lives like super close to me and we've never met in person and I just don't know why. You guys probably watch her channel, um, Catherine from Do It On A Dime. So she lives like just down the street from me. Like, okay, that's a, that's exaggerating. She's like the next town over, but super, super close. And we've never met up before. So we are going to go meet for some coffee at this little local coffee shop. Um, and then I have a call this afternoon. I have to take, I just kind of have like a very busy day today. That's like random stuff that I'm not usually doing on a Monday. Um, so the kids are downstairs doing their independent schoolwork and getting some of that stuff done. Um, it is definitely not like morning. It is approaching closer to lunchtime. Um, but that's fine. Sometimes, you know, life happens and we don't get started until later than we planned. So I am getting myself dressed. Like I said, I'm going to go meet her. What do I do? Hmm. I'm going to go meet her for coffee. And then, um, I've got a call at 1.30 also have a zit that's trying to pop out. Um, I cannot tell you guys how excited I am that it is sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Sweater weather is coming. Sweater weather is here. It's getting okay. It was 98 degrees on Friday. Then on Saturday, it was like the high was maybe 70 and it was brisk and chilly. And today it's like 70 ish. So for other people in other parts of the world, probably not sweater weather, but for me, it's sweater weather. Cause y'all know I will wear sweaters just about all year long if I can get away with it. They are my very favorite and fall, fall dressing, fall wardrobe, all of it is my favorite season to dress for. Um, you know, there's not a lot of body prep that goes in. You know, I feel like everybody's always talking about getting the summer body and all that stuff. I'm never prepared for that, but I am always prepared for that fall body. The sweater body, you know, the leggings and the sweaters and the little booties and scarves. Like, I am always ready for that. So, that is what I am doing right now. I'm going to finish getting myself together. I'm going to fix my hair a little bit and then get ready to get this day Going. He just lives in the driveway though. Are you talking to Grand Anna? Yes. Alright. Mom. You're on the vlog. Hey. Hello. <laughs> this is why I love iPads is my mom can now chat with my daughter. And you guys all know Grand Anna already. So it's just a cool little feature here. But we were talking to mom about flying out here around Halloween and maybe staying through Noah's birthday and kind of taking in some of the fall festivities. You guys all know Grand Anna. She does not like the heat. And so it needs to be like fall weather is perfect for her. Um, it's just too humid. It's too humid out here for her. But I just lost a kid up the stairs. So, okay, go get she. Uh oh, and Millie's crying too. So, poor thing. What's wrong, baby? Oh, let me go see if I can find a pacifier for her. Hold on there, mom. Okay, what's it, what's it matter, baby girl? There you go. There you go. Okay, make sure all the doors are closed and all the gates are closed. We need to baby proof um, the house a little bit. So I have a funny story for you guys. Um, hold on, Benny. Yeah. He's napping in the basket. Let me run around here. Okay, Ugh. bye. So, oh, bye, mom. Yep. Bye, Mom. Okay. Love you. See you later. <laughs> All right, so anyways, funny story for you. Um, we had a window guy come over last weekend and kind of like the door-to-door -door salesman type that tried to um, like set up appointments and give us a quote. Our house needs windows. This guy was friendly enough. I said, okay, um, book appointment for next week. That was today. He stopped by. I was very straightforward with him. I said, listen, Time is a commodity in this household. Let's just cut right to the chase um, and I'll save you and me some time. Long story short, we're not gonna have windows done, but at the very end of the conversation, the guy goes, uh, I asked him where he went to college and he said, you know, somewhere local around here, um, it's where he played ball. My ears perked up. I said, ball, what kind of ball did you play? He said, baseball. I said, me too, I played college baseball. And I actually coached locally here in the Charlotte area at a place called on deck um his eyes got wide 
he was a player there um, around the same time that I coached. I coached there for five years once we moved to Charlotte. Um, and he graduated high school the very last year that I coached, which is kind of the age group that um, our travel ball was for. So we had started, you know, that conversation, which was once coming to an end about windows, started back up around baseball. And it was just funny. It was nice. Um, nice chatting some ball with a ball player. So it's a small world. It's a small world. You never know who's going to knock on your door and try and sell you windows. It could be somebody that you coached when they were 13 years old. Who knew? Okay, so I did want to pop in here really quick and tell you guys about today's video sponsor. It is Just Fab. I just got my order in and I am so excited. This is the first time I have ordered anything from Just Fab, um, but it's super, super easy. You go on and you take a 60 second style quiz and then they curate this whole page for you of suggestions, outfit suggestions, styling things. They have tops, they have shoes, they have purses, they have all kinds of different accessories and stuff to style you. And of course, I have a discount for you guys. So I will have it down below in the description box for you, um, but you can get your first style for as low as $10 which is like 75% off your first item with the link that will be down below in my description box down there with the little drop down area. Anyways, okay. Okay, so the first little outfit here is this burgundy. It's kind of like a wine colored sweater. I love the sleeve. It doesn't go all the way up to the armpit, so it's a lot looser and it is plenty long to cover the booty if you want to wear it with leggings. And I just wanted to give you a quick reminder that Just Fab does change their styles very, very frequently. So if you see something, I'll have everything linked down below, but if you see something that you really love, snatch it up because their styles change very, very often. And so you could miss things. And I don't want you to miss something that you really love. And these are like a tan suede booty. Now I really like these because I love this little slit at the ankle. I think it's so cute. It's on both sides, inside and out. They are super comfortable. I like the pointed toe. I think it gives it a little something extra. Um, so yeah, isn't that so cute? Little sweater, little booty action. Love it. Okay, this next sweater I absolutely love. Um, I just, I just kind of threw it on with a like button up shirt underneath, but there are lots of different ways that you could wear this. This is so soft and so comfortable. Again, plenty long and I have paired it with, this is very, very out of my, um, typical comfort zone. These like red suede pointed toe booties. They're kind of like this wine burgundy color. So they are like, they stand out as like a red shoe, you know, like a good statement shoe, but they are not like bright, bright reds. They're perfect for like fall, winter. I think they are so cute, but definitely size up in those. I also wanted to show you guys these um, snake prints. So snake print is super in this season. And um, I wanted to show you guys, these are like flats, like slide on flats. And they totally are with that snake print trend. Now, I don't know that I would necessarily wear them with this but just with like a white shirt or something I think these would be so cute okay so this is the next piece and this is like a gray cape type thing you can tie it um, there's a few different ways you can wear it but I think this is so cute again I actually really like it over the top of this button-up shirt I think it adds a little something extra although you could just wear like a plain long sleeve shirt underneath it I just think it's different I feel like you see a lot of the same kinds of sweaters and stuff in the fall and I really like that this feels different and gives a different look and as I mentioned of course they do have like purses and accessories too and I saw this purse and I just could not pass it up um, it kind of looks like a designer purse that is a very popular designer purse, but is very, very expensive. Um, and so I saw this and I loved the gold chain. It's got a little bit of the, um, the like the vegan leather strap right here. Um, and it's so cute crossbody. It's just nice for like a nice dinner. If you're going on a date with your hubby or something like that, this would be really cute. All right, Miss Rosie Rue and I are locked and loaded. Get yourself first of buckled, babe. Okay, mom. You got it? Yeah. We are going to go to a little photo shoot um, with some of Rosie's friends um, that live here in our town that also have Down Syndrome. And uh, this month is Down Syndrome Awareness Month, so we're going to go do a little photo shoot um, with some of her friends that we can share the pictures and stuff on social media, social, social media, um, to help bring awareness. Um, you know, it's funny, one of my friends was posting recently that like normally when you do things like to bring awareness to something, it's to raise money for a cure. And this is different because Rosie doesn't need to be cured from Down syndrome. It's just a part of who she is and it's part of what makes her special and amazing. And so um, it's just more awareness for people in communities and people around her 
to get to know her but like get to know people with down syndrome better and understanding that like it's more about making the world a better place for them than it is about like finding a cure for them um because it's just you know so many people misunderstand um and don't or are nervous or have all these feelings surrounding um down syndrome and just not knowing you know what to think or how to interact with somebody with down syndrome and all that kind of stuff so um, that is what our awareness is about is that she is more alike than she is different and so that's what we're hoping to show today hoping hey. to show today in our photo shoot are you almost done girlfriend we gotta hey. go not girlfriend, Mom. okay i'm not girlfriend sorry no, but we gotta go we got to go we got to go i'm back i got my coffee <laughs> So good chai latte and i think i got some on my nose all right now we're cooking with gas she's buckled let's go all right rosemary we're here all of the kiddos are here hi ben y'all know ben y'all saw ben come home from china can you say hi ben no you don't want me to take it you're so cute can you say hi you don't want to say hi. You guys are all going to be shy now that the camera's here. Hi, you're sweet. Hi, Sawyer. Can you say hi? He's like, nope, I'm out. I'm out. Are you guys ready to go have your pictures taken? You guys want to go take pictures together? We got to find Sam. We got to find your brother, Sam. Are you ready? Eloise. And you guys know Eloise, too. Can you say hi? You have a big fan club here on my channel. They're going to be excited to see some Eloise. <laughs> She's like, what is this? Get it out of my face. <laughs> We're trying to get down here to the spot for the photo shoot, but... <laughs> When you're trying to wrangle a bunch of little kids, um, it doesn't go as well, uh, as smooth as we might have thought. So, they're all down there. We'll get there eventually, to the spot. <laughs> they all keep running. <laughs> Every time she gets her, she takes off running again. Yeah. So a lot of times kids with Down syndrome can be runners and they will just like take off. That's a typical thing. Um, so now that we have a whole bunch of them all together, we're experiencing a lot of running. Listen to what Miss Stephanie tells you, okay, Rose? Oh, whoa. Rosie, oh my gosh. Yay, Addie! Woo! Come on, girl! Addie, Addie, Addie. Oh, she's like, Rosie doesn't like that. Oh, nope. Oh, that works for Sam. Doesn't work for Ben, no. Come on. Come on. Addie, Gotta love running post children. Addie, Addie. Oh, so nice. Here's over here. I'm gonna take <laughs> Look at Addie and Rosie. <laughs> so good, guys. All right, ready? <laughs> oh, so sweet. Oh, Rosie, smile, babe. Smile. Yay. home Rosie's got you got your little snack plate yeah let's eat some dinner daddy made some delicious dinner and then you can have your snack plate we gotta have dinner first okay what Rosie got? Yeah. so Christopher made some steak daddy. fajitas yeah. warming up some tortillas you ready to eat good. good huh was you did a, nice a great seeing, job was it nice seeing your friends yeah dad. Dad. how's the dinner guys is it super good? Dad, what is it? Dad, Thank you for covering your mouth. It's just got some grapes and a cookie and stuff like that. Do you? Yeah. She is lucky, huh? She went and did her pictures. Yep, she did a good job, so she got a cookie. I feel like I haven't seen you at all today. It's been kind of a Who's bat poop day? crazy day. Okay. What did you do today, better yet? Because Dude. they've talked to me all day. Yeah. I got up, first thing I did this morning was wake up and I washed about seven bottles by hand because we were all out and he needs his bottles washed. Because he has thrush. Use because he has thrush. Um, I washed some bottles, I got dressed in about three minutes, which 
you always love. I always tease CR because I'm like, it's not fair that he goes into the bathroom and he's ready in like three minutes. He brushes his teeth, he puts on some deodorant, he changes his clothes and he's ready to go. Can't forget the, like, missing, the missing piece, the crown jewel. The crown, a hat. He doesn't even do his hair, a hat. And as females, we have to like, well, we don't have to. I know we don't have to, but hair, makeup, I got dressed about wardrobe, three minutes. Wardrobe, like you know what I mean? Like, um, and then I came downstairs. I made breakfast for everybody. And then we started school work. And we did yeah. school to about one or two. I'm not usually gone all day no, on school day. days. Today was it a crazy just, day. We had a lot of things going on today that conspired against us. So he took over school today. And it was awesome. We, like, it flowed well. Are you trying to say it flows better when I'm not here? Absolutely not. But I'm just telling you, <laughs> getting up and knowing you don't that want you're my help be, anymore. Knowing that you're going to be gone for the whole day, um, you got you know all hands on deck. And the girls were helpful. The boys were cooperative. It worked. And then window guy came in too. So I had to meet with yeah, window Sierra, guy. Yeah, Sierra. I don't know why he does I, stuff I like that. Yeah. He told the guy came to sell windows. He told him he could come back. He came back today, and that's an hour and no, a half of his yeah. time downstairs getting a window sales well, pitch. Well, we need new windows eventually. So I figured I'd hear this guy out, kind of feel price out the market. Definitely not going to do it. So that was part of our afternoon. And then Rosie mm -hmm. had her little photo shoot today, which y'all saw. That was so fun. Kind of bananas and crazy trying to juggle all those kids for a photo shoot. And, um, yeah, but they all did really good. It was just, I, I got a lot of behind the scenes stuff, so hopefully you guys have seen that and you have laughed with me because it was really <laughs> hysterical. Um, but yeah, like I said earlier, it is Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Yahoo! And so Yahoo! we're just bringing awareness to the awesomeness that is Rosie and her friends who have been blessed with Down Syndrome. Um, they, like I said earlier, more alike than different. Right, Benji? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And ma'ams. Is he Mickey Mouse or Benji? I don't know. He's looking right at you, though. Holy cow. Hey, buddy. What do you hey, think? buddy. <laughs> what do you think? You gonna go cross-eyed on us? Hey, buddy. You gonna go cross-eyed on us? Well, he's got a full diaper, I feel like. Yeah. Full His thrush is starting to clear up, but... He's oh, he's spitting up. Uh, we talked to Grandana today, too, and we had some questions about where she's been and when she'll be back. Um, she is gonna be coming to visit very soon, mm -hmm. so... Stay tuned if you've been missing some Grand Nana. She will be here very soon. I also spent some time planning out my YouTube channel. What? What? I mean, you and I have talked about this, but I'm just right you now. You spent I'm some time doing that today? In just right, writing out um, ideas, like 10 ideas. Is it going to be like Dude Perfect or something? I could, pull, I could be Dude Perfect. Long before dudes were perfect, I was Dude Perfect. You've what seen he means me, by you've that seen me that, do things. Yeah, he, you've seen me he do caught, things. he's caught a fly with scissors before. A, a fly, it was flying, it was flying around, like not sitting And so I like, caught it in the scissors, like without Mr. Miyagi. Without killing it. Yeah, without you're killing even, it, he just oh, caught it in the like, scissors. Yeah. And then caught the fly. It I have was caught crazy. a Nerf gun in my, not a Nerf gun. Somebody shot a dart, one of the tiny little Nerf darts from across the room and I caught it in my mouth like Ace Ventura. Caught it in his teeth, yeah. I'm also really good at random, stupid things. Right, random dumb things happened to you too. Like one time you were sitting at my parents' fireplace and they had a wreath over the fireplace. It was like a fall wreath mm -hmm. and it wasn't secured right or something and he was sitting yep. there and the wreath fell yep. and it fell perfectly landed around his neck. Not so he's just sitting there with a wreath around his just neck. Just taking it Remember off. Remember the time that I threw that little can at you and hit you? Right, square on the forehead. Yeah, so maybe that's, maybe I, I should do I think we need to perfect. recreate some of these. Like, I think you and Uncle Peach have a YouTube channel. Me on oh. Pete? Yeah. That would be Maybe. interesting. Be All right, guys, That's we're going to wrap this up. We got some babies to tend to, some children to put to bed. Ivy's in there sleeping and on the couch. The twins are still, it's not ridiculous. That's not good. It's not good. Not They're going to be up all night. That's it then for today, guys. We will see you guys very soon. You want to come help me sign it up? Sure. So see you later, tweets. See you later, tweets. Bye. Wait, hang on. Look, Benjamin. So yeah, like I said, Just Fab has shoes, handbags, jewelry, clothing, all kinds of stuff at affordable prices. So you can try, especially like, maybe you don't know if you love the hat trend, but you just want to try it. Um, you can do that at an affordable price point and see if it's like a trend you actually want to stick with.
And if you wanna to go to the site and you feel like you just don't know where to start, it's always a good idea to start in like the new arrival section. Um, I also like to look at like what's trending. But yeah, be sure to click the link down below in the description box. Y'all can get your first style for just $10, um, which is like 75% off your first item. So be sure to check that out down below. And styles do go in and out really fast on their website. So if you see something you love, you should definitely snatch it up quickly. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. 